one of the factors as to why many people do not humble themselves before God is that they do not fear him nor appreciate the holiness of God. Tell us about that, Nick. And what does a healthy fear of the Lord look like? So I mentioned that that upward growth and fear towards God and its relation to the downward growth towards ourself and humility. And it's interesting when you when you study the Proverbs in particular, uh, but other other passages of Scripture uh, as well. But the, the Proverbs use uh, what in uh, Hebrew poetry is called synonymous parallelism to draw a direct parallel between the fear of God and humility. A number of times Solomon does this uh, so much so that that some scholars have said that they are one in the same grace. Now, I think they are two distinct graces, the fear of God and humility. But uh, but we can't grow in one without growing in the other. And uh, probably my favorite definition of the fear of God comes from uh, John Murray, a uh, Presbyterian theologian. He defines humility as the all controlling sense of the majesty and holiness of God and the profound reverence that that elicits or draws forth. And uh, so, so essentially the, the fear of God is, is seeing God for who he is, savoring him for who he is, uh, reckoning in the depths of our souls with who he is. And that's, that draws forth a worshipful, reverent, joyful, uh, fear towards him. It's, it's not not being afraid of him, not drawing back from him, but it actually draws us towards him in a loving communion bond. And uh, and so as we grow upward in that all controlling sense of his majesty and holiness, uh, we, we also grow downward in the all controlling sense of our creatureliness and and corruption.